Hi, this is Jess. And this is Rachel. Welcome to the EP 401 IT Help Desk. Hi, this is Jess from the EPCUSD 401 Help Desk. And this is the screencast to go along with our training on Google Classrooms. We'll be talking about from the student view, completing and submitting assignments, and also marking them as done and then unsubmitting them if they have to edit an assignment after it's been submitted. So let's start with our assignment we did, the Earth Hyperdoc. Here it is. I did change the due date, and I'll tell you why in a second, but I changed it from the Friday to Wednesday. So I have one student that doesn't have this done, and of course this is our student that is right here. Now, how does the student know they have an assignment due? Well, if it is due, in six days or less, it will come up here, which is why I changed the date. If it's a week out, you won't see it here right away. Six days or less, they figure out, oh, you better hurry up and do it because you're running out of time. So one way I could do it is click on here. Another way I could do it is using the pancakes and going to the word work. This is going to show me a list of assignments for all my classes, but I could also go to just this class and see the assignment as well. It will show me when things have been submitted under done. Remember our questions that we did? Here there are the grades and here's the comment. I can click on again if I want to read it. If things are outstanding or overdue, they will show up here. We don't have any of those assignments yet, so we're not in trouble. All right, so let's say now I am ready to do this assignment. Again, I can access it from right here or I can go into the work and access it from right here. Now you'll see, check this out. Remember we selected make a copy for each student. Here is the Practice Earth in Action, EPCUSD 401 Help Desk. This is my student, so this is only his. Now the benefit to using a Google Doc is this. If I am the student and I click on this, I can go ahead and start working on this assignment. Okay, fantastic. This is a hyper doc. Remember we learned about these in Google. Google Docs. So I'm going to pretend I'm just going to add a couple extra periods to this. Okay, fantastic. And then I'm going to click the button Turn In. Simple as that. You don't have this option if you do not use um, a Google app product. If you're doing it as something you're attaching from your computer, they're actually going to have to attach it to the assignment to turn in. So this is one way of turning this assignment in if it is a Google Doc. Now, if it was something that I created on my computer, like an Excel file or Microsoft Word, I would have to use this Add button and go get the file and attach it. If it is a link to something I created, very simply, I would add the link. And if it was something from Google Drive, like if you just put a question that said, please submit something that you created in Google Drive, like a drawing, they could add it right here. Create would also be, would give you those Google apps, and if they started the document from here, so if it was create a drawing and they went to drawings, they would have that turn in option. The only time they don't, again, is when you add something that's not a Google product. So if I attached a file, then I would have to click the turn in button here. If I worked on it here, then all I would need to do is click dun, 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 turn in. And my assignment is done. It's going to ask me, are you sure you want to turn this in? Like it always does for everything when you click a button. And I'm going to, of course, turn it in because I think my assignment is perfect. Now, as a student, it will show up on my page as done and finished. Easy, simple. Now, let's say I realized, oh, no, I forgot to attach such and such. Well, then what you're going to have to do as the student is go back into this Earth HyperDoc and click unsubmit. Now I can re-edit the document, but the most important thing to remind your students of is once you unsubmit it, it comes off the teacher page and goes back to being not done. So if I go back to my teacher page, it goes back to saying not done. Unless they resubmit that assignment, it will be considered unfinished. So I'm going to go into this practice earth in action and resubmit it. Give it a second to load, turn it in, and boom, now it's done. So you can see how simple this is from the student's end to put assignments in. I could also put a private comment here 
as the student to the teacher saying, you know, I made some changes. I wasn't sure if I liked them or not. Please let me know if I need to resubmit. And that will go to the teacher only. Now you remember from one of the previous trainings, as the teacher now, you can see that this is done. You can click on it. And this is where you can assign the points, go over the assignment and add the grade. So hopefully this was helpful for you. Please visit our website at tinyurl.com slash ep401tech for more training videos and resources. And check out our YouTube channel at epcusd401helpdesk to subscribe.